Might as well get this done while we're here. Oh shit, that was way too much. Right now I'm sucking ass, you know that? Yeah, it looks to be a solid mix of all three games, taking something from all three. I love that they went back to an M rating. So is your hype starting to die down for Borderlands a little bit, Adam? Or are you still feeling pretty confident in it? What, what's Where are you at with it right now? I'm going to die to bully mong projectiles, 100%. <laughs> oh yeah, you can move. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna turn this slow start into a great playthrough. I'm completely confident in us. This slow start will become a great playthrough. I I believe in us. I'm confident with Borderlands Industry, I just hate how the games media is mistreating the game like Giant Bomb. What are they saying? I, I, what I keep hearing is like, why is it not a games as a service? As if games as a service has gone super well so far. Because it really fucking hasn't. Destiny still can't really get its shit completely straight. And it's had to go through such, so much turmoil just to get to this point of relative stability. God only knows what the future of Anthem is. By the time the Division turned itself around, it was already time to go into the sequel, and now the sequel has to turn itself around. And they're like, why is this not games as a service? I can't believe they're planning for a traditional sequel after Borderlands 3. How could they? How could they go back to the traditional model that served everyone so well and gave us better games? Oh my god, how dare they? They're fucking, I mean, whoops, they're freaking crack addicts. <clears throat> They've got Stockholm Syndrome. These games that they've made millions of dollars lamenting and calling them out mostly correctly for all their faults, they're now saying that Borderlands 3 should totally replicate that. For all we know, they're just not saying it, Borderlands is going to be a game for years to come. I imagine it will be. You don't have a game, take seven years to make, and then just give up on it after the season pass. It sells well, and it's critically well received mostly if it's received well by the players and sells well this game they're it's gonna be completely fine it's it blows my mind they're just negative articles though they're negative headlines i mean because a lot of the time when you read the article that's not at all what the article is actually trying to say they're just getting clicks like i read a, actually a good article and it, it was titled does borderlands have too many guns which you know seems completely like you know stupid Borderlands, too many guns. Isn't that the point? But it ended up being like a really substantive article about uh, how they've designed to make... It asked a good question, like, is it going to be like Borderlands 2, where you have all these guns, but only like two or three end up being really useful. Well, you know, like a dozen, a handful. And they were like, how they, they were talking about how they made all these different decisions to try to make that not the case anymore, to make it... But... <clears throat> you would you would use a much wider variety, which is perfect. It's it's good that they're like they know what the hang up was with with the later stages of Borderlands two. No, I'm actually gonna lower the music down and up the guns because the guns are perfect. <laughs> I'm confident with Borderlands 3. Da, 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 da. Games of service. It's too much like Borderlands, right? Yeah, that's exactly right, Adam. That's just so, so stupid. Well, why? Borderlands 2 is still Borderlands. It's not like they. They just made everything so much better. They just went in and refined it. And that's what they're doing for Borderlands 3. You're taking one of the greatest games ever made, Borderlands 2. Already from the, the effectively the Black Sabbath of looter shooters, as in the Godfathers of Metal, the Godfathers of of uh, of looting shooting. And they went and they took that game and they turned it into a masterpiece, a classic of all time. 
And now they're gonna make a sequel to it, and they took seven years on it and refined the hell out of it, and made it bigger and better, and seemed to be completely aware of all the faults of Borderlands 2. And the game's media is like, like you're saying, Adam, oh, wow, wah, 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 it's too much like Borderlands. Well, my nephew's here, so I have to soften the language, but are you freaking retarded? Are you stupid? I mean, you gotta be stupid, right? Borderlands 3 looks like Borderlands? Are you retarded? That's like saying that Halo has Master Chief. Or that Mario has Mario. Or that a Zelda game features Link. Yeah, no shit. That's what it is. It's a Zelda game. That's just completely moronic, man. I don't understand it. But it's just clicks. Like I say, there was that one article that was actually really good. But it had a stupid title so that people would read it. Does Borderlands have too many guns? Well? This Borderlands game plays a lot like Borderlands. Huh, that's weird. That's what I want. It's not as... Right, yeah. You can play it offline like you were talking about yesterday, Rikers. You can literally... You have agency over this game. You have a Switch. You can do classic Borderlands procedural loot. You can do instance loot. You can play split screen with your wife or your buddies or your husband or whoever, you know. Um... You can play offline. There's no loot boxes. Like, it blows my mind. This game should be getting so much positive press. The DRM stuff in these games as a service stuff has been a fit, you know, like, it's like the original sin of video games. And it's been tragic to me. It's been tragic to see something I love so much. And many of you love, obviously. That's why we're here, why we're gamers. Get softens to have these games not focus on the art and focus more on the commerce of it which you have to it's a business you got to mind that of course but it seems to me 99 times out of 100 maybe even 100 out of 100 if you make a great game you make money on it it always blows my mind Wilson sent me an article and i'm so glad he did that the the witcher 3 continued to outsell all these like ea games like year after year the witcher was still the t one of the top selling if not the top selling game of the year well, it has none of that DRM crap. It's got none of the loot boxes. It's got none of the mandatory DLC. Oh, <coughs> Destiny. Ugh. And yet, here it is, making money hand over fist. It's funny how that works. You make a great game. You don't throw it full of crap. You give the player a damn good purchase. You make them feel good about their... Their purchase. You give them exactly what they thought they were getting. And, and more. You give them a great game. They reward you. And it, it's such a self-evident truth. And yet the industry, and even even more amazing, game journalists are saying it, it can't be. It can't be that obvious that you just make great games and good things happen. No, we've got to, like, shove hard caps in there and soft caps in there. And we've got to put in fees. And we've got to put in, like, you can only do so many moves in a day. And we've got to put in login caps. And we've got to put in, like, America Online-style... You know, that's what Destiny to me was, like America Online. You can only get three spin medal. You can only have one weekly raid. You can only gain so much glimmer. You can only play when the servers are up. You can't play split screen. You can only play multiplayer in these very limited instances. You can't just go explore the planet. You can only experience Iron Banner when we want you to. I hate that. Yeah, Borderlands, like Borderlands, isn't that weird, Ashton? How could they, dude? How dare Borderlands make a Borderlands game? Are these people stupid? Like, who who says that? Oh my god, Master Chief is in Halo! How could they? Yo, show the Reaper! I mean, if it suddenly became a third-person shooter, and it had strategy elements, and Jack Black was the lead... I don't know why I keep going in there. I know there's a boss in there, but obviously that's not the quest right now. I'm just killing stuff. Like, I'd be like... Oh my god, I don't know if I'm going to get Borderlands 3. It seems a lot like Brutal Legend. And the, apparently the games media would be like, this is brilliant. They've turned, they've really turned this around. They turned one of the greatest games ever into Brutal Legend. This is the most intelligent and wise decision Gearbox has ever made. After Battleborn, they really needed to get back on track. And turning Borderlands into a Battle Royale third-person shooter strategy game makes complete sense to them. Yeah. This is uh, weird, man. This Borderlands plays a lot like uh, Borderlands. 
Weird. Strange how that happens. What's wrong with these people? They don't talk about improved gun mechanics. Right, that there's like... There's now six planets that you have a main overhub. They clearly they've done their due diligence. And what what are two games, Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2, that already have strong in-games and a lot of focus on in-game? They went ahead and, at, from what it looks like, added ten times that amount of content to it. From Mayhem mode, to the way that streamers can be interacted with, to the Guardian ranks, which are just an even deeper, more fleshed out, badass rank, to the fact that your ship can continue to be decked out as you go along, all the new social features, the, a team dedicated just to boss fights and raid fights. It's just absolutely ridiculous. There's so many positive things that should be being reported on Borderlands. Th this needs to be wh what game succeeds. I'm so hopeful for the industry. I feel like this is like an election year t for me, personally. Because it's like, do we want to keep going down this games as a service model where these games come out? And it's like Rikers was saying yesterday, they take 96 months. You pay full price, but they take 96 months to actually get where they want to go. And even then, it always seems to be in a state of flux. Or do we want to? Or do we want to say, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a great experiment. We learned a lot from it. It's still cool to have uh, prototyping and have software continue to adapt and change, like World of Warcraft, definitely. But this permanent alpha, never really having a sense of direction, paying for games that are not ready. Maybe we can drop that portion of it. Maybe we can also drop the idea, because I think Gumby's right when he's talked about this, when I've listened to him. I know I'm dropping like a million names, but I'm trying not to be egotistical and say that these are my ideas. I'm just trying to give credit where I've heard these ideas. But, uh, that, you know, we don't actually play these games ten years later very often. You know, War of Warcraft, but that was a... That game's kind of like the exception, not the role. Borderlands 2, within reason, of course. You do playthroughs, but... I think we all got kind of sold on the idea that Destiny brought forth that we would all play these games for the rest of our life and could be married to it. <clears throat> and we're all kind of waking up with a hangover. Realizing that's that's really not healthy. It's not how we experience games. It's not good to limit yourself like that. It's, it's also not good for the industry. So, okay, Borderlands has a three to five year life cycle. That's perfect. I think that's the sweet spot. And then there's probably, within five years with the way technology is moving, there's no reason not to make a sequel because you're going to have more memory, you're going to have more computing power, so you might as well go ahead and make one. That's why we should have a Borderlands 3, because computing power has obviously gone up considerably since 2012. And by 2025, we'll probably be on Mars, or well, we'll be on the moon again. But, you know, there, there'll be a definite technological reason to go ahead and probably do some AR, VR insanity. Uh, with 90% of games, you own the game until it... Right, you shut down the service. That's exactly right. That's the problem with DRM. Like, the Wii games market was a really nice market. There was tons of good stuff on there. They're all the classic ages of Nintendo. But once they shut down the Wii game... Well, the WiiWare servers, which happened this year, that's over. You can't play those games anymore. You can't buy anything on those servers... On those... On the market, and you can't play those games. Uh, unless you had them installed physically on your... On your drive, but... That's exactly right. That's the problem, is you lease the game. And, and that the industry loves that. They love that. But we are, believe me, we are not the ones winning out in that situation. This is not the days of the, your classic console, or even classic PC gaming. If you go and, you know, you go to freaking Walmart, and you buy the game, and you just have it. You can shove your N64 cartridge into your N64 today. You're not going to need a server update. You're not going to need to check your Wi-Fi connection. You can stick four controllers and You can't even stick four controllers into, into consoles anymore. You know, they're just not designed for it. You have to go and you have to buy a third-party hub upgrades that make your Xbox overheat and sound like a, you know, boiler room in 18th century England. Just in order to play with four controllers. It's, it's insanity to me. That we've actually been systematically, it's like the Patriot Act, as gamers, we've been slowly, slowly but surely, systematically, actually giving up privileges and rights and things that we expected. Tucker, did you want to join me? Tucker, you want to join me? Come play. I'll invite you.
just fun to kill stuff in Borderlands. I know I'm being super unfocused, but I'm just killing stuff. <clears throat> Whoa, this is Borderlands 2. Since when? Did I give shout? Oh, yeah. I Ashton's a Marine. He's really funny. He's really great at team-based games. He's a Borderlands guy. Uh, he's a fan of a, number of a number of franchises. Apex Legends is what he's been playing a lot. He's actually Diamond Rank. He's really good. So give that man a follow. Give that man a follow would be well worth it. <clears throat> he's very entertaining, very talented. And like I said, he's a Marine. Man, has served his country. Um, with Borderlands 3, you feel like you own the game. That's right, that's right. With Gearbox games, I mean, even even Battleborn. It, it still blows my mind why this wasn't heralded more than Battleborn. I could bring my nephew into split screen and play offline, but also I could bring my nephew into split screen and play multiplayer. The games just don't even do split screen anymore. Why is the gaming media not talking about like, hey, you remember these features that were commonplace because we expected them 20 years ago and how no one does them anymore? There's still a company called Gearbox that's holding that's holding out for us. Maybe we should support this game and say that EA, with what's happened with Anthem, because that's been, for me personally, very disappointing. Maybe we don't want to throw our money towards that anymore. Let's vote with our wallets, and let's vote for games that allow you to play them split screen, and allow you to play offline, and allow you to choose how you interact with it, and really, really give authority and agency to your money and your purchase. That would be a better industry for us all, I think. But the gaming journalists seem to want it the opposite way. Let me know when you're in, Tuck. Alright, you sound scared. Don't be. <clears throat> Tucker's like, I don't really want to join you when you're this way. It's like I'm an alcoholic and I'm all revved up. When you start talking about EA and DRM, I get scared. Lower your health to shields greater. Increase the magazine size. <laughs> uh, with all weapons. Increases movement speed and reload speed. Inside's going to be good early on, dude. Tucker, did you join? Let's try your mic again. I'll invite you to party. Critical hit damage, that's pretty good. But so is, honestly, reload speed and movement speed early on. I mean, I'm going to have to change my build. Obviously, to, like, OP, this is the only build that works in the end game. But for now, I can try a bunch of stuff. But yeah, quick draw is going to be really good. Anything with damage, th that's the core of Borderlands, and especially Borderlands 2, is damage. Not so much Borderlands 1. I mean, still, yes. 99% of the time, but 1%, you can run different a tank build with... The Gunzerker. If you do some very specific things, you can. It, Borderlands One allows every character to have a weird build. There's a an Iridian build for Maya, for not Maya, but Lilith. There's a shotgun build for Roland. There's a. <clears throat> oh, it's not snipers. I don't know, it might be SMGs. It's just something weird for Mordecai. Outside of pistols and snipers. You know, I think there was a main quest over here that I probably should go ahead and do. I'm just killing shit and talking. <laughs> I didn't even do this. Tucker, are you in the game now, bud? Alright, uh, I think I sent you a party invite, right? Yeah, okay, are you in? Yeah, you are. Alright, try to reattach your mic and we'll go from there. Crank up the opinas. Tucker the scared. Okay, try to mute it and unmute it. Tucker, your summer break's running out. You should try to enjoy yourself. I don't know why. We're gonna have to fix your mic. But either way, you're, are you in the game? Oh, wait, I can actually hear you. Speak. Hello? Yeah, okay, sweet. Hey, get in here. Now I can't hear you again. Whatever you did a second ago, do that again. With your mic. Not working. Um... Something's gone wrong with that mic. <clears throat> Why'd you say you're not joining in here, Tuck? I just sent you another one. You can go on me and click join game, but I've sent you multiple invites, I'm pretty sure. Am I not open? Hold on. Might be an issue here. Fox Live friends. I'm online.
Probably because I got my Net Doom on. Enjoy yourself. Get hammered daily. <laughs> No, oh, wait, that's just on spectator. That should work then. Getting those invites? Alright, try again. <clears throat> Okay, let's go do this quest. Audio logs. Rip! It was all the way over there and we were killing a whole town of bandits. That's like two quests away. Yay! Welcome, Tucker. Is your mic working any better? Hello. Hello? Yeah, hey, I actually heard you. Tell the stream hello, Tucker. Hello. And that time it didn't work, but he said hi. What? Huh? I, your mic is still not working. <laughs> this Morphe identity yet? Yeah, he is. He identifies as Mr. Birch. Which means terminally guilty. General feelings of unease and guilt over nothing in particular. <laughs> Get him out of here. Get him out. Hey, Holy crap, we're doing quests. It's Wilhelm. That was my main and pre sequel. Pretty sure the next one's on the roof. Tucker! You're a soldier! Punch me, dog. Tucker's gonna be Iron Bear in Borderlands 3. He wants to be Moe's. Right, Tucker? I just had to secure my dominance, Mr. Birch. Since you identify as Mr. Birch, I had to let you know how I really feel. Huh? You're axed and press back button, you can see. You're kind of perfect for you because he has turrets and he's a soldier. He's like an engineer type uh, slash soldier. It's pretty cool. It's perfect for you. Okay, I'll critical hit damage. Oh. I'm just happy to be playing Borderlands. Holy crap, dude. I was looking forward to this. That is a heartbreaker. You got something in common with them now. As I say, getting to play this is like getting to have dessert before dinner. It's a water bottle, but I gotta like take a shower after. It's gonna be a ping system, believe it or not, in Borderlands 3. We gotta heal you up, Tucker. It's gonna be great. You're gonna become a really you're gonna become a badass player before Borderlands 3, Tucker. It's gonna be sweet. I can hardly wait. I'm literally right next to you. You can have them. Greetings, Traveler! Sports! I think this is the quest we're supposed to be doing.
you need to level up. And then, it's like, I have one. These guys are gonna drop some for you, don't worry. This is easy time, man. This is just the beginning of the game. Do you have a gun? Try to make your mic work again so I can hear you easy. There, take- oh, that's funny. I got you. Where you at? Yeah, I do this guy. Oh, I can't shoot and revive, that sucks. My buddy Seth, he was my best friend for most of my life. We played the ever-living crap out of this game, man. We got pretty good at it, actually. You know, one of those games you play pretty much every day for multiple hours, you start to start to get good. <laughs> this freaking song, dude. <coughs> Save me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We're doing good, Tuck. Nice job, buddy, on that last fight. I thought you did well. He level two, too. Congrats, buddy. Tucker's level two. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's been a minute since we listened to this song. Oh, there's a convenient ladder. We're accustomed from Borderlands 1 to always have to do some janky parkour. What, Tucker? Penis. We're good guys. Well, we're kind of amoral in Borderlands 2, I'd say. We're, we're overall, we're good guys. Pre-sequel. Pre-sequel, you play a bad guy. Only the best for the stream. Yes, only the best. Because he's owned by Hyperion. He gets, he becomes free at the end of Borderlands pre-sequel. But, remember from the robot DLC in Borderlands 1? Hyperion actually built and owns the Claptraps as slaves. <clears throat> so Hyperion. So Claptrap's basically forced into the servitude of Ansem Jack. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, Tucker, we get to ride this elevator. There's a secret up here. Simply to the safe house and buy a Got a Vladoff build going. We need to put on a Vladoff skin. And really just go down. We need to roleplay. We need to do a uh, Allegiance run. Only use certain manufacturers. Those are always cool. I've not seen a lot of people actually able to pull them off. <clears throat> well, it is the year like 50,000. Usually there's monsters in here. But in... I don't know. Borderlands like way, way in the future. You know what's crazy though, Tucker? It's in the same universe as Battleborn. Like, they're, they're all events in Borderlands in the very, 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 very distant future is of the same, similar universe to Battleborn. Battleborn is just the end of the universe because it's the last star, but they're technically within the same general. It's like Stephen King's fiction. It's all connected. He's right, he's right books, writes books. <laughs> Tan is good, what Battleborn is. Yeah, over here. It's a vault symbol. Every map has a bunch of hidden vault symbols. There you go. There's your shield. Take your pick. We'll just grab it when you hit level 3, which will be in like 10 minutes or less. This is a stupid quest. You gotta purchase a shield even if you've already got one. The attacker! Nope. There's no fall damage in this game, so don't worry. <clears throat> Just drop. Just drop. Make sure Tuxman plays this like Apex. Take all the loot, yes. 
and get high. Get up on high places and, and hide. ADS the corners. This is how players play Apex anymore. That's why it's become so fun and exciting. Alright, and I'll be here for the next five minutes. Alright. Just waiting for the zone to change. Oh crap, I think I already killed all the bully monks. Oh well, we're gonna try. <laughs> Did you get the papers from China, man? Boo oh boy, what's boy oh boy? Boo ho boy. Is that what that boy? Oh, it's from the sun. Twitch chat making things awkward since 2007. Oh, crap. It's ice cold. I'll try to get you. Come on, Tucker. Oh. <laughs> as soon as you get up, jump. Jump, 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 jump. I think you're gonna have to respawn. Yeah, hold X. Jump, 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 jump. Hold X. <laughs> High level fitness training. Getting ready for the mud runner. Crab trap. Thank you, Clap trap. I concur. I just follow him. <clears throat> we can come back and do the bad hair day thing in a minute. Actually, let's just go do it. Let's go do it. That'll be easier. He, well, follow him over here, because he's going to go forward first, and then we can turn around. Sorry, guys, for the FPS drop. Uh-oh, the guns are starting to underlevel already. Nice. Good job killing that bucket. That barrel. Ding! There you go, level three. Put on that shield, Tuck. Good start. Fitman! Borderlands 2, dude. I'm pumped about it, too. Woop woop! Tucker, good. Guns up here. So get on this. Uh, oh shit, you got psychics everywhere. Get up on this rail. <clears throat> there you go. I don't think we can get up here though. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Okay. Do, do, do. Thanks for being here, Fit Mer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate you, dude. Let's go. All right, our first box battle, Tucker. Health here. You can actually cheese some badass rank up here if you get a Nova Shield. Uh, guys will constantly come up and attack you, and if it's a really good Nova Shield, it'll just kill the enemies, and you can get all the credit. Farm out some shield challenges. Ew. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I can't just hold the left trigger with the Jacobs. Fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. Alright, now I think they jump out of the turret. Did 
you grab those guns? You weren't using a Jacobs. Yes, perfect records. Nice. Melee the crap out of him. <laughs> Grenade mod. If we get lucky, we'll get a legendary off this other guy. These guys actually drop tons of XP, so if we were speedrunning, we would sit here and farm it for about half an hour. Hit like level 10, 15. We get a purple? Alright, Tucker, you get in the turret. You'll love it. We're gonna use the turret now. Up here. I think I it should be fine. I think we maybe have to fix it. There, shoot that shoot the door. Shoot the door. I don't know, try why. There. Now you should be good. Now stay up in there because you're going to be able to kill tons of people. That's right, trigger. You're aiming way the wrong way. Aim at Claptrap. Shoot, shoot Claptrap, Tucker. What? Okay. Blast him, dude. Make Claptrap pay. <laughs> And a claptrap, I guess, uh, dex the dictionary definition, I'd assume, is uh, a device for comedy. That's exactly what claptrap is. Oh yeah, here, you kill those guys. I don't know, Tucker, you're the one who just shot him. Why would you do that? He was relying on you, Tucker. He trusted you. You just blasted him to the moon. That's how he shows up on the Hyperion moon base. There's another group coming. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Get him. <Fire. laughs> Alright, let's go. I'll kill these guys. Kill these guys. Nice. That yeah, that's all. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> And look at this, Tucker. It's a really cool map. This is where Flint's at. And one of the heroes from Borderlands 3, one of the Vault Hunters, seen Flint. This is his uncle, who lives up in this. So you're effectively killing me. You're Zane Flint, and I'm Baron Flint. Or, uh, whatever, the Captain Flint. Dude, we gotta get you a working mic, Tucker. We gotta get you a good mic. So you can be talking to the stream and I can hear you better. What? <clears throat> it's pretty cool, right? a tear to his eye. George! Don't need a mic, just scream. Tucker, remember, because your mic doesn't work, 90% of the time I can't hear you. Alright, talk again. Are you about to help? <laughs> the dwarf that could. The gun zerker. And you're axed in the commando, engineer slash soldier. You got your turret? If you got your turret, throw it down. Uh, press back button. Level up. Because level 5, you get your skill. So, I uh, won't kill these guys. Get, get your skill and then put your turret up here. Sweet. 
And it just gets better and better. His turret gets really good. Nice. And you can withdraw it if you want. But then, of course, as you level, it just gets more and more powerful. So that Tucker is your responsibility. You are the engineer. Alright, so for like 30 seconds right after you level up in Borderlands, across the franchise, you have like double damage. It's kind of cool. Speedrunners use it to their advantage. All the way at the top of the mountain. That what you're talking about? Shoot at it. Right there? Yeah, yeah, okay. We gotta go up there to get that, for sure. <clears throat> This right there, where well, we just picked up a gun that looked better, it's got more damage, and we just want to try it out. That's what it loses at the end game, and that frustrates me, because it's like the funnest part of Borderlands. Okay, let's change it up. Let's use a gun that actually acts completely different than the rest of the guns. It's my favorite part, and it goes away. <clears throat> I got a better shield available now. I should let you get in my bed. It's a Hyperion, so it gets more accurate as we fire. Still want to see him again, right? Th this playthrough, the one through fifty, is beautiful. The game works so so well. It's not just it's just going to be later that things go off the rails. Ooh, shit. Actually, here, you take the Jacob's pistol. Use that gun if you want. Man, it's stuff, you're gonna love it. It has massive magazines. You get your turret available. Get up where I'm gonna go and set it up. Follow me. But don't mess up like I'm messing up. Why can't I jump? There we go. Get up here, because this is where the next, like, all the, most of the spawns are going to be. I jumped on the crates, and then I jumped on the ice. Where are you at? That's <laughs> so cool. How are you doing up there, Tucker? I'm coming. You? Oh, you got up. Nice job. <laughs> Claptrap's got PTSD for being tortured. Keep fighting, Tucker. You're doing good. I'm coming. I'm coming. Trying to get there. I'm going. Just keep firing. No, 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 no. Sorry, dude. I tried. I was down below trying to fight. We haven't even gotten into mods. We're still in early days right now. We have the money. I'll put our skill point in. Yeah. Is gun swap speed part of the... Uh... Ah, it's not part of the badass ranks. 